for whatever reason, everyone wants to make predictions for the upcoming year. And I don't see too much harm in it because a lot of them are pretty much spot on. But um, they're just predictions. They're not prophecies. They're not even setting dates. And I'm going to throw my two cents worth. I, I really feel like I have been living in a movie um, since, I guess I would say, December of 2019 when I first saw some films of um, Wuhan. Wuhan, China, when it went under lockdown and the aerial uh, views of a, a very large city, it's very spooky, it looked very spooky, completely shut down, no activity, no traffic, nothing. That's when it began and then we all know what happened 2020 beginning in March of that year. And since then it's become increasingly a horror movie. But my belief is um, we ain't seen nothing yet. We ain't seen nothing yet. And um, all the movies from the 80s, 90s, about everything from aliens to um, tyrannical shutdowns, lockdowns, and I mean, there's dozens of movies. There really is. You know, it's all all projected programming. It's um, our predictive programming. I'm sorry, it is projected. It's all predictive programming, but um, we're gonna see it on the big screen, not on the big screen, off the big screen, happening all around us. And I'm preparing for it. Um, I'm preparing for it spiritually, mentally, psychologically, in every way I can. Because um, they knew it was coming. And we've known it's coming for since we were awakened. And all those zombie movies, zombie apocalypse, I had, a, I had a friend who was, don't ever look it up. It's like the worst movie ever made. I'm not kidding. What was the name? I think it was called Zombie Apocalypse. He was the star of it. And it's like, dude. <laughs> these are, the, these are the, the crazy people I met up with when I was living out in California. It's like, dude, you know, your career is going to go downhill <laughs> big time. <laughs> but anyway, um. I don't know what happened to him. <laughs> I don't think, I don't, I think he may have gone back to Texarkana where he was born. But anyway, um, this is what I truly believe in. It's, this is what I'm not laughing about, that these wicked people knew all this was coming and were aware and we're going to be alert to it. But m the majority are just going to be absolutely floored. And so... We have to pray, not only for ourselves, but for them, because um, they're not going to know what hit, hit them. I can honestly say, and I hope my heart would not fail me, because it says that men's hearts will fail them. I can only say, if I opened my window tomorrow morning and there was a big gargoyle, I'm not kidding, outside there, it would at first startle me, but then I would say, oh yeah, okay. And then I'd run, <laughs> but <laughs> I, I can't run, but I get away as fast as I can. The point is, you know, I, what I'm trying to say is I expect anything in the next coming year. I expect to see all those movies come to life in a very non pretty way. And I'm not talking about the Hallmark family movies either. I'm talking about those alien invasions, invasion movies, and the Arnold Schwarzenegger type thing, you know, Terminator Man, AI, all that garbage. If it doesn't happen in the next year, it'll happen in the next couple of years. It's all unfolding. That's my prediction, you know. Hollywood on, the, on Main Street USA for 2022.